single family homes between 22 and 23 increased $65,000. We saw commercial increase at $44,000. We saw industrial increase by $77,000. We saw personal property increase by uh, $32,000. Uh, so that built a brand new value uh, of property here in North Attleboro. We are going to collect uh, through appropriations, $67,636,332 before any debt exclusion. That is inclusive of Proposition 2.5. If you were to maintain the same shift, the average homeowner will pay $306 more in taxes this year. And the reason that's going to happen is because the value of their property has gone up. The value is $5.1 billion. We know we're going to collect $67 million in taxes. How do we collect it? I came here tonight to tell you or ask you that it'd be really great if you could just keep the tax rate where it is. I'd be really impressed if I saw it lowered, but I'm happy with it where it is. We're getting whacked from every direction of businesses in this town. I own Bell's Powder Coating down the industrial park. Natural gas went from 47 cents a therm to a dollar thirty a therm. That's a $15,000 increase a month for my business. And I don't know where I'm going to find it. I would ask you to consider a reduction uh, as a part of this, as a part of an overall strategy to attract more businesses here in town. To me, it would seem fair to try to cut the pain in half. Take the pain half from the residential and half from the businesses, which to me would go the opposite way of the town manager's recommendation and bring it up to about 19 point between rent and cost increases from everything from transportation, like you said, to just even labor costs, you know, we are trying to entice businesses to come into town, but it is a good reason why they probably don't come into town. On the other side of the coin, you're also seeing increased prices for homeowners, for residents, for consumers, uh, and so I don't think at this time I'd be in favor of shifting the burden towards residents to increase their rate, uh, or rather to increase their tax bill, especially when it's already going to increase? I, I think as, as Mr. Bellum adequately said when he talked about businesses, they're taking it on the chin. I think homeowners are taking it on the chin too. Um, we're seeing it everywhere. We're seeing donations to the food pantries are down. Um, at the same time as more and more people are using the food pantries. You know, with, with Proposition 2 and a half, our tax bills are always going to go up. That's the way it's set up, um, but I don't see a way to long-term make this palatable for families if we don't get more business in town and, and have a bigger base. I think I can see it now on the paper, right? So we're talking about driving economic growth, new growth, bringing businesses in town. Even if it is just, you know, 1%, it's just our commitment to small businesses, to the commercial um, growth that we want to drive and see. I think when, when it's in the papers and they read that, they see that, they're like, oh, North that North Adderall's trying to be progressive. They're trying to bring new business into town. That's how you show your support. I think there's a much stronger case to be made for um, actually increasing the split uh, onto commercial. I know it's probably not a popular opinion uh, among businesses, but I do think just given the, the valuations and the increase in the residential payments versus the decrease in the commercial payments, everyone's feeling the stress. I would like to make a motion to, to move to approve measure 2023-022 discussion relative to and vote for the residential factor slash shift and approve a residential factor of 96 0.933965. That is 17 percent. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Keep your hands up, please. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we have five in favor. I'm sorry. Uh, all those opposed, say aye. 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 Uh, any abstentions? Motion passes 5-3. I would like to make a motion. No, to move. No, I would like say, to make a motion. No, no, to not you either. Just. We could make a motion. We could make a motion to uh, approve measure 2023-023 discussion relative to and vote for the small commercial exemption and adopt the small commercial exemption at 10%. All those in favor say aye. 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 Please raise your hand so I know because there's a bunch. One, two, three, four, five. All those opposed say aye. Aye. I think I saw five and two. Any abstentions? I'm just kind of yeah. 
We have an abstention. Yeah. Motion passes 5 2 1.